the date time, convert it to a date object in Zojo. Um, and the basic way we did it was um, we uh, we took the <laughs> it's kind of strange, but we took the uh, date object from the SQL database, convert it to a string, and then from there we had to convert the string to text. And then from text, we convert it back into a Zojo date object, um, which is a really long way to go about something. But um, you know, maybe at some point we'll create it. Um, we'll create a uh, method for that. But anyways, uh, we did all that in this in this area here. So uh, now we're going to. Um, so now we'll, now that we have a date object. Uh, we have to then now take the date and move it uh, oh, take the time aspects of it uh, get the get the hour populate the pop-up the minute and the a.m. p.m. here okay so we're gonna do that now uh, all right so let's go back to our code um, hate this oh, show list box there we go so you double click a date um, so let me see, get my notes out here. Okay, so we're going to work with the hours first. So dim uh, this hour as integer and then this show date dot hour. So we're taking the show date object. The date object, grabbing the hour and then putting it into this uh, the, this hour variable. This minutes as integer. Okay, so this show date dot minute. Okay, and then dim. Okay, and then we um, we actually don't have to do one for AM, PM, and I'll show you why. So uh, here we go. Okay, so let's go. On. Okay, so dim. So we're going to grab the... Um, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, if this hour, if this hour is greater than 12, then, oops, why am I doing dim? That's stupid. Okay, got it. Okay, okay, so basically we're, um, in the hour pop-up window, you know, um, if it's, you know, it's military time, so we got to convert military time to, uh, you know, if it's 1900, just got to go to 700 at that point. Okay. So then, uh, so if it's, so the hour is greater than 12, which makes it one o'clock or more, um, then this hour equals this hour minus 12. So it's 13, it goes back to 1, 14, and then when it gets to, um, it's funny because it doesn't ever go to 24, so we're going to have to take that into account. So else if, if this, sorry, this hour, it will be 0, is equal to 0, whoops, 0, whoops, then, uh, this hour equals to 12. And, and if. Okay. And then now we're going to go to, um, now we need to set the pop up box. And basically, um, the way it's set is it's at 1 through 12, but it's, in, you know, it's in the array order, so it's minus 1. So, um, so show our update pop 
pop up that list index equals this hour minus one. Okay, so let's test this. Okay, so if I click a date, double click it, there you go, nine. This is uh, January 7th, and it's uh, 9.45 is the show, so the nine goes there. Okay. Um, we should probably, let's, uh, let's insert a bogus show. Let's go 12, 12, 15 a.m. just for kicks and get okay, so this is a 12 15 there you go so 12 okay all right now let's do minutes now minutes are different different just so um because we did we created a minute pop-up box but we only put four entries in there zero the quarter quarter hours so 0 15 30 45 and um so just for quick update show minutes pop up okay so I'm showing you this um, so our array this is one two three sorry zero two zero one two three so we're gonna take and it has to be at the quarter minutes so um, let's uh, let's get back to what we're doing here show this box okay Okay, so yeah, I'm just for the sake of clarity, I'm gonna I declare the variable earlier, but let's declare it later as it relates to what we're actually doing. So if this let's just do minute. Minute is equal to Okay, here we do cases. So let's um, okay. So I'm going into my notes here. So we're going to do a select my minute This minute. Okay. In case zero. Okay. Case zero. Then um, okay. Grab this. So I just organization. case zero then show minute update pop-up dot list index equals zero case 15 what is gonna one Case thirty. Two. Case 
3. Uh, da, 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 and select. All right. Save it. Okay, syntax is right at the moment. Okay, let's test it. Okay, so if I double click, uh, let's do, uh, here's a 730 show. And there we go. Uh, January 20th, 7.30 p.m. Uh, that's right, but it's obviously, it's, it's wrong. Okay. All right, I'm just thinking for a second, because like, this is kind of a point where I got created delete, but, um, you know, it's not as necessary right now. Okay, so we got that. Now we got to do the AMPM. Um, I believe the way we have AMPM set up is AM is first. So let's take a look. Yeah, so AM, the value is zero, PM, the value is one. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so now it's based on hours, so let's do this. Um, if the, sorry, this hour is greater than 11, then show hour, sorry, show am, pm, update pop-up dot list index equal to one. So if the hour is greater than 12, so 12 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night, it's going to give us that. Else show am pm update pop-up dot list index equals zero and if there we go and that should work so now these videos now that you kind of figure out how this stuff works these videos get <laughs> shorter because I'm not futzing around trying to figure stuff out all right so uh, if I double click it, oop, and this is wrong, went to AM. Okay. So let's uh, let's figure out what happened. So if this hour is greater than Hmm. I'm doing all right. Let's see. So my array is. See, list index one. Okay, so PM is one. Oh, I know. Because we, uh. Okay. I know what happened because we basically changed that. Um, okay, so here's what I have to do. I have to do the AMPM code first. Okay, so it'll set the uh, AMPM before it sets the actual hour. So now it should work. Okay, here we go. 
let's take uh, January 7th, and there we go. And then we know that AM PM works, because if I do that, 12.15 AM. Voila! Okay. Now the next step is I want to change something, and then I want to update it. Okay. So we got to do update. Get our update code. Let's see if I have a. Okay. So uh, now we gotta go back and um, so you reset everything. You can't change the date, but you can change the time. And you can change the uh, the description. So on action. Okay. So I'm gonna get, first. I want to get the uh, show primary key. So dim show ID as integer and that equals to the value of the sh show ID update field dot text. All right. All right. So let's, let's get a SQL. SQL show update as keep doing that as string dim rs show update as I don't know why I do that record set <sighs> all right. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is uh, let's get the date, the date value. So when we come back to here, so we're going to take the date. Okay. Hmm. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, so you know what I need to do? I need to create another... I need to create another field there, tab. Because I want to actually put the date object here. Here this is just, because I'm not carrying, well... This show day. Hmm. Okay, so let's. Okay, I think I'm using this show day as part of the other method, so I'm going to create a new property. Okay, I'll just call it edit show day. Sojo dot core dot date. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, got it. Edge show date. Okay, so back in the um Okay, and then we gotta go back to the uh, show list, double click, and take uh, T 
take this show date. Okay, so edit show day equals this show date. Okay, I just want to make sure this works. So we're going to run it. Make sure my... Okay, it works. Well, let's make sure it actually works. Okay, so as far as I know, it should work. All right, so now we have a... Uh, a date object that can be accessed from anything. Uh, again, I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but we're just going to do it. Okay. Uh, we're going to take some of the code from the insert button. So show insert, show insert button. And uh, we did a lot to kind of set up, you know, how this is going to work. So, uh, Let's grab some stuff. Um, okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna copy this. We've already done this. You can go back to uh, um, some previous stuff. Okay. Um, Okay, so show, see, this is part of the problem with not being super organized. Show update button. There it is. Okay. There we go. So using Zojo Core, um, I don't need to establish a now, oh, I do need to establish a now date. Um, partly because uh, we're going to use the now date to, uh, to, to, uh, because I got to say who modified this, and when when that one was last modified. All right, so this insert hour, I guess we can use the same, um, but this should be update. Uh, let's just keep it consistent. This update hour. Okay, let's update minute. Okay, this should also be update. Okay, let's make sure it works. Okay, good. Show. So show AM, PM. Oh, show. Okay, so I think I show minute. Okay, so I think it's a matter of spelling. Show minute. Update public text. Okay, good. And then in case, okay. Okay. Okay, that works. All right. 
So what have we done so far? Um, we have, uh, okay, we grabbed the hour, the minutes. We adjusted the hour based on that. Now we got to build that that SQL uh, SQL code or the SQL date. So let's go back to um, let's go back to show insert show insert button there yeah. I'm just going to copy this for a second for my own records. Okay. Okay, so what we did in the last time here is we created a show date. Um, we constructed a show date, uh, and then we we went to text with it, and then we uh, we entered it there. So let's let's do that. So show update button. Okay, so now that we have the date, the hour, the date. Okay, so now we got it. Construct it so dim this as new date. Okay, so we're going to grab the edit show day so. Edit show day dot year. Edit show day dot month. Edit show day dot day. This update hour. This update minute and zero. And then we gotta put this darn sojo dot core dot dot time zone dot current. Okay, let's see if this works. Basically, I'm going to run this, and I should get zero errors. Okay, so what happened here? Dim. Show ID. This show date is nil, yeah. 1930. So what happened? Oh. I bet I can't use I can't use this show day. Okay. So let's just call it edit show day. I know, super confusing. Or V. We'll just call it V show day. Or U. I know. Next time I'll go back and call it U. Still not working. The nice thing is this doesn't tell you why. Oh, because it's in the end sub. <laughs> 
stupid. Oh, no, no, never mind. Okay, let's just call it you. As new. Huh. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna put the uh Just kind of do baby steps, make sure things are working. Okay. So, I don't think I'm carrying the show date. Yeah, I don't think that edit show is, uh, I don't think there's anything going in here. So let's, uh, figure this out. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's a... okay. Now it should work. I had in the wrong order. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. I'm going to forget I tried to do that first fix. I'm gonna see if that'll work. Because that wouldn't work, because I have to do the formatting of it. So. We're just looking for non-error here. There we go. No error. Ah. Uh, all right. All right. Uh. Okay. Now we gotta take this date, the update show date. And convert it to text. Okay. So I'm going to do two things. One is I want to create a modify date. Uh, modify date as text, not string as text. And that equals to now. Now date dot to 
to text. Dim update show date as text equals to you show date dot to to text. Okay, and I believe from here we can create our SQL code. Okay, so let's do this. This is the fun part. SQL. Whoops. SQL show update equals. Uh, Okay, so set um, Okay. So we're going to set Oh yeah. All right. So we got to come back to uh, to this so that we make sure we get the right so show date set show date capital show capital show date um, equal to like that Copy this just uh, okay uh, to to update show date. Okay, comma. Um, Okay, so I'm updating that. Okay, let's do show description. Show description is equal to and that's um, show description update field dot text. Okay, now I gotta change this uh, modify by. No, no, I don't need to, but I will eventually because I'm not gonna be the one doing this. But I should be able to change the modify date. Comma. equals two and that would be modify date okay um, and then so it, is that it those are the ones yep those are the ones we have to update so um, so I'm gonna end quotation where show ID equals and that's str show ID so show ID update field. Dot text. Okay. 
Do I even need to do that? I don't think so. I think I just need to do this. Okay. And then populate show list. Okay. Let's cross our fingers. There's always bound to be something wrong. Oh! Alright, so far so good. Past major hurdle one. Okay. Okay, let's take this. And you go main stage. Didn't work. Oh! Guess what? We didn't run the SQL code. <laughs> okay. Here you go. So, rs show update equals m, sorry, mddb dot sql, SQL select sql show update. All right. Now we run it. All right. Moment of truth. Got that one. Main stage. Main stage. There you go. Nine. The nine forty-five now says okay. So we should be able to add main stage to all these. There we go. Okay, what I really should do is after it's done is to reset reset these these buttons. But um, I'm not going to at the moment. So main stage. Okay. And then we have this uh, 12, 15 in the morning. So let's just set that at when it should be 7.30 p.m. 7:30 p.m. and then uh, and then just for let's do 28th just to complete off 9:45. Yeah, whatever. Okay, there we go. We just did it. We created. Uh, we were able now to create the object, um, create a date object, update the record. Ooh. And I think. Uh, that about does it for this one. So, yeah, yeah. I could create a, I should create a de delete. But that's kind of simple. So, uh, I'm not going to do it here. We'll do it when we build this thing properly. And, uh, there we go. All right. So, have a great day.